has it teed up for the tie. And Barber will take this one three yards deep. Now, Barber fumbles, Roach recovers first, and goal, Bama from the two. And Spencer Pennington controls for the touchdown. LaRon McLean, the fullback. And Cadillac Williams didn't rush for over 100 yards in that game. Jason Campbell, the quarterback for Auburn, had to get it done. Third and seven, Cupito with an open man and a first down to the 34 it's Jakari Wallace the fastest gopher out of the eye from the 35 and the play pick this time Ellerson with the catch and where he made the catch looked like he had first down yardage he then goes inside the 45 leading just inches on second down but the conservative call Maroney spinning for the first down just across the 45. A first down after their timeout. We'll see what they cooked up in the 46-yard line. And it is Maroney. Gets into the tied secondary for the first time and into tied territory at the 47. Maroney blistering speed at running back. Off right tackle this time. He's close for the first at the 44. He actually adds a blocker. First and ten, Cupito looking deep. Far sideline, badly underthrown, and Roman Harper ranges over from safety to pick it off. Roman Harper turns it over to the offense, and a premature snap that time. J.B. Klausner, the Alabama center, double clutching. Jack Kramer with the call. Freeland, the senior out of Utah, Alabama, standing in the middle of his end zone. And they come after him, Amir Pinnock's close to a block. Barber at the 49. There's no misses. Barber out of bounds at the 44. With Maroney taking the handoff with Big Room. Tiptoed out of bounds at the 31. Trying to be heard, and the Tide fans know that they can make it tough for an audible for the Gophers. Barber staying in, double tight end, first and ten. This time, Mary looks for the cutback on the left side and reaches the 11. And he decided to go ahead and give him a scholarship. I think it paid off. Again, Barber pounds his way to the seven. Votes for first and goal. Not quite a first down, but less than one needed for the first. Seven needed for the touchdown. Barber, first and goal at the four. Valentine in, full back in the eye. Toss sweep. Coming right with a flag down. And uh, out of bounds right at the pylon. Barber, but in the worst possible spot. I'll tell you exactly how much they were penalized on an average basis. Barber back in for Maroney. Barber looking to throw into a crowd and intercepted. Intercepted. Alabama with another takeaway. Anthony Madison. Darby checks in for the third down play. As Pennington looks out of the gun from his goal line. He loses it and it's loose at the goal line. Spencer Pennington respond. Third different starting quarterback for Alabama this year. Reed chases. Pennington's throw on the run is to D.J. Hall, and it's a first down to the 29. Brody Coyle lost early. Mark Gillen also a start, but it's Pennington going wide open to Cothro at midfield. Hard to throw it much better than that one. Bobbled at the end of the catch. Up 3,000 of the 
60,000 or so expected. Then the Gophers got to work and it's Barber to the secondary. Barber to the 36 yard line. Tough call. Second down 19, tough situation. And it's good to throw. Incomplete for Jared Ellison. He wasn't going to go very far even if he had made that grab. Todd Bates appeared, number 56, appeared to hit him head to head. I think this was Todd Bates. Number 56, offense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Now Bates meant to say defense. Originally signed with Cal out of Mount San Antonio Junior College. Walt Maroney into the tie second there. Barber didn't get enough. Missed by inches. Go on third down. It's Maroney, and he burst through the line and then fumbles. No fumble. He was down. Another first down. Tied 16. Marion Barber inside the tens. Marion Barber near the five. And it should be first and goal from there. And we begin the second quarter. First and goal at the five-yard line. Minnesota looking for its first lead. And it is Barber right through the middle for a touchdown. around a figure of maybe 110 points combined. I may rethink that. I don't know if it hit 70 to 40, but definitely around 100, I bet. Pennington, nowhere to go. Dropped for a loss. Marion Barber waiting for a low end-over-end kick. Alabama hop. Barber covers at 31. Barber, who's turned it over twice, he also threw an interception on tailback option, then scored. That's where we are. Gophers by seven. Maroney to the 39, where it will be third and three. <laughs> he didn't talk like David Moore either. <laughs> third and three. Marion Barber runs right over Roman Harper at the 48-yard line. You play in the Big Ten, you can't do that. Another broken tackle. Barber with his fullback, Valentine, walking out in front a good 20 yards ahead of the play. 22 yards for Marion Barber. Let's check in with Alex. Yep, they admit they were not immediate friends when they first met. Barber again to the secondary and 13 more yards. You've got to wonder, where does the money come from? Pop has to put it out. Wheel right and Ellison, both wide right, but still on the ground. And it's Maroney, his legs pumping. Knees up high, falls forward to the eight. Dupico racing to the line now. Fourth down, one to go to the seven. First down, goal to go, Lawrence Maroney. That's how confident Mason is. Never even thought about a field goal. And frankly, his defense is discombobulated right now. I mean, they, they're, they're, they're rattled. They've been getting knocked around. There's some people running on and off the field, and somebody who's out there shouldn't be there. Lloyd is perfect on the year inside 40, and he stays that way, knocking through a 27-yarder. Since this game began in 1998, with a resounding Alabama loss, Virginia Tech at Vanderbilt Stadium, 38-7. to Ron McClain, who has the Alabama touchdown on their first play from scrimmage. And he goes in motion on second and three. D.J. Hall with the hit. First man misses. Dozier and the first down to the 39 for Hall. A true freshman for Walton Beach, Florida. McClain lifting a little bit after that last play. Motion again from him. And a deep drop. On second and 18, a strike at midfield, throw throw with a first down. And Pennington lighting a fire maybe at last for the tied offense with a gain of 19. Finished third in Alabama high school history, over 8,000 all-purpose yards. Pennington, wide open, Keith Brown with one man to beat. Up the sideline and driven out. Inside the five by Jonathan Richmond. McLean, close and in. Touchdown. Jakari Wallace.
Chris and Mercy. Kukato going deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage and complete across midfield. Reese Lloyd also the punter. And uh, this one will go very short off the side of his foot. He gets about five worth the bounce and it rolls out at the 15 with 28 seconds. Mitchell Pennington's been darn good today. 9 for 10, 117 yards and a touchdown. They hand off to Kenneth Darby making you wonder why they bothered with the timeout. That's all they were going to do. Face mask, Minnesota. So that's the big face mask, 15 yarder. And Pennington with the out the 47 it is caught by Matt Cadell for 15 yards they elected to try to run out the clock and Mike Shula trying to score here one time out to go the catch by DJ Hall did not get out of bounds just inside midfield clock rolls just make sure you get it in the end zone inbounds instead it's the hook and ladder Kirk Rowe with the toss from Brown Dances inside the 25, but that's where it ends. Nice call, nice call, Mike Shula. Barber, first to get 100 on the ground against Bama this year, and it took him only two quarters. 67 for Maroney on his 16 carries. But Minnesota with three turnovers and a three-point lead. Alex is with Mike Shula. Bo Freeland will kick it away after three and out. His best of the day, backs Barber up to the 21. And Barber caught by Marcel Stamps after just a four-yard return. Think of all the guys like Kuchenberg and Langer and Larry Little who went on to be Hall of Famers. And we'll let this, we'll let this play go here. But gain of eight yards for Maroney. And on second down and two, he is not able to get around the corner and is going to be very close for a first down. I saw him play at Tennessee with 108,000 people at Kentucky where I used to coach. And, uh, so it was just a, it was a uh, fun thing being able to follow Mike's career. We vacationed some together and we talk a little bit about football at that time. And, uh, you know, Dave also has been a big influence on his career. And uh, Ruth Barber breaking a big one. Marion Barber to the 23. Well, I just think he's a fine young guy. I'm very proud of him. There haven't been too many negative moments that I've had with Mike as he grew up. And, uh, it's just been a pleasure to raise him. Uh, he's uh, the youngest one in our family, loved by everyone in the family. Alabama's been, but they, you know, they lost Hudson, and uh, Darby hasn't uh, been able to play. And uh, so they've lost the heart of their, their running game. But, uh, you know, they somehow hopefully will hang in here. <laughs> So they get Reese Lloyd out. He'll try and knock through 25-yarder. Had a hit from 26 already. And tack this one on as well. Go for his march on their first second half possession and double the lead, 20 to 14. There was a game that in microcosm mirrored the season, maybe Auburn. They led 6-0 at the half against the undefeated Tigers before giving way in the second half. And on the short kickoff. Dead ball. Personal foul. Number 42 on the kicking team. 15-yard penalty. First down. Freeland kicking all the way. Not pretty, but he gets the roll. And Barber at the 10. Let's check in with Alex Flanagan. Third and 10. Jakari Wallace makes the grab and a first down. Wow. Wonderfully come after Lloyd here. And get that close, and he hangs a nice high one up for Tyrone Cothrell to 31. But I'm going to find me a hockey talk tonight. <laughs> Maybe get a cold beer. End around. Keith Brown. Midfield and knocked out of bounds. At the 47 of the Gophers, first down, Alabama. Pennington on target again, and it's close for another first down, throw throw at the 37. They go four wide in the shotgun on the fourth down. 
Hamilton looking deep, too deep, way over D.J. Hall. That from another former Alabama coach who won 10 very quickly. Pro throw. A bit of a bobble. Now he gets to work. A lot of hard work involved in a five-yard return. This is Jeremy Schatz. Instead of Bo Freeland back to punt. Not a whole lot better than most of Freeland's work today. Freeland over and over benefiting from rolls. This one rolls out at the 37. The second team, all SEC, even though he only started the second half of the season. After the top to Maroney, the reverse going nowhere. Jakari Wallace. Carpru also has an interception on his day. A loss of 10. East Wood. Hangs this one inside the 30, right at the 30, now just inside with the roll. He was 12 out of 13 in the first half, now just 4 out of 11 in the second, and Pro Throw looks up and sees Daryl Reed waiting for him. And Mark Lossley and loses back to the 23. On the fourth and 16 punt. Hasn't exactly been a kicking clinic. End over end, backs up, killed at the 48, just 25 yards. Here's a third and six. Dupito looking for Ellerson, and they connect for a first down to the 34. Why are you staying away distancing. From if Dolick were here, he would have put us all to shame. On second and seven. Marion Barber, a couple more. The record-setting tailbacks controlling the day for the Golden Gophers. And on third and short, a first down inside the 25-yard line for Marion Barber III. And they paid off in a 29-14 win over Arkansas. This is Justin Valentine, the fullback. They throw him a bone. And he's close to another first. They throw him a bone, which is to hand it to him behind those big hogs. Remember, he had Henley and Levine there, the twin backfield that was pretty impressive as well. Third and one. Barber easily with the first and close to a first and goal. He's at the 11. Alabama shut out in the second half. And their first touchdown went just two yards. They had no luck sustaining anything. Barber with a flag down at the six. Holding offense, number 89. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat, second down. Who's going to win this game tonight? I think Boise State's going to win that football game. 41-yarder by Lloyd is no good wide right. And the tide remain alive with 5.34 to go. They haven't come close to doing that in the second half. There's a start. A throw into traffic. Big yardage, D.J. Hall to the 43. 28 yards. 25-yarder last time. Bo Freeland returns. Gophers try to set up for a return. Freeland's best. Barber watches this one roll inside the 10, and it'll be killed there by Roach. Boyd has not had a punt blocked all year. And he will run through the end zone and settle for the safety. Absolutely. A marker down, however, at the line. But look where he's returning it from now. He's not returning it from midfield. Boyd with the free kick. And coming up at the 35, it is Tyrone Fulcro. He spins across midfield. Alabama will start with 3.04 to use, 47 yards away. No timeout. The 48-yard line is where they give Pro Throw the return. First and 10 from there. Pennington cold. Most of this second half, he starts with a strike to Pro Throw, who dances his way down to the 36. A first down for Bama. Pennington. Looks right, now looks over the middle and wide open is Darby. Injured ab or not, Darby sucking it up here. Couple of feet shy of another first. 
On second down, Pennington. Open is Knight. This time he hangs on. First man misses. Ezekiel Knight out of bounds. Inside the 20. They need six. Looking middle, looking deep for pro throw and overthrown. He was open. He was open and Pennington was clean. He had plenty of time, a nice pocket. The big old lines responded well, and here we are. This is the football game. Pro throw is slot right. Cadell outside of him. Pennington on fourth down, throwing incomplete, intended for D.J. Hall. Even if he had made that catch, he did not have first down yardage. Receivers all come back. And the Glenn Mason and the Gophers will take another shot in 2005 at a breakthrough that they hope will land them in Pasadena. And we talked about the personnel that Mike Shula was getting back. Glenn Mason is going to have a team that will make a serious run at the Big Ten title. Well, that's a prospect for the third consecutive year. And we'll have to see. Will the Michigan game be the defining game once again next year? Minnesota with maybe 3,000 of the record crowd of 66,089 backing them today in the Coliseum in Nashville. And Glenn Mason now drenched in victory as the Golden Gophers take the 2004 Gaylord Hotel Music City Bowl.